I'm Jerusha Sukhthia Rath and you're watching News 24 Live. Let's have a look now at newspaper front pages from around the country and despite the fact that everybody is talking about the Soccer World Cup and Germany's defeat over Argentina, let's have a look at some of the other stories that are making news headlines on these newspaper front pages. But as we go along, you'll see that all these front pages, or most of them at least, are scattered with beautiful pictures of the final match of the 2014 World Cup. We'll kick it off with the front page of the Cape Times. As you can see there, a shot from the closing ceremony. But also, I support assisted dying, says Tutu, speaking of course about Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. If we have a look at the front page of Die Burger, it's the same story leading the headlines. Um, and Tutu is speaking very specifically about assisted death. Now, he wrote this in a letter to the Observer in the UK speaking specifically about his experiences dealing with dying people in his pastoral capacity. He even spoke about Nelson Mandela's last days, calling them completely undignified. Let's read a little bit of um, an excerpt from this letter. He says, What was done to Madiba was disgraceful. There was that occasion when Madiba was televised with political leaders, President Jacob Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa. You could see Madiba was not fully there. He did not speak. He was not connecting. My friend was no longer himself. It was an affront to Madiba's dignity. Now, this all comes in the wake of the fact that um, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu does believe that those who want to die should be given the option to do so. If we have a look at the front page of the Mercury in Durban, the same thing, Tutu backs assisted suicide. Let's move on to the front page of the Star, the same story again in the middle there with a picture of the Archbishop, but also a beautiful picture. It says final countdown, referring of course to the fact that the FIFA World Cup is now over and it's a really cool picture of the closing ceremony. If we move on to the front page of the Business Day, another picture of the World Cup, but also next to that, NUMSA in surprise drop in pay demand. Now, NUMSA is striking, and this comes on the back of the country's five-month-long strike in the platinum sector. Now, NUMSA are asking for a 12% increase in wages, and quite surprisingly have now said that they will stop striking if their demands are given, and those demands are now being dropped to 10%. If we have a look at the front page of the Herald, no deal, says a defiant NUMSA. And according to this report and according to other reports, NUMSA are saying that they, what they will do if their demands now of 10% aren't met is they will group together other groups from different sectors and the strike will just get bigger. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.